In this video, we're going to do a practice for focus quiz number 11. Number one says, if AB is tangent to circle C, find the measure of AC, round the answer to the nearest tenth. So, we know that a tangent and a radius meet at a right angle. That's one of our properties for tangent. So, first I'm going to start by drawing the right angle right there. And then we're looking for the length of AC. So, we need to do the... Pythagorean theorem. So let's do 5 squared plus 8 squared equals AC squared. So that would be 25 plus 64 equals AC squared. And that would give us <clears throat> 89 is equal to AC squared. Since they said round to the nearest tenth, we will take the square root of 89. And we get 9.4 approximately for the length of AC. All right, so that's it for number one. Number two says, given circle M, if arc CD is 117, so let's fill that in. Arc CD is 117 degrees. The measure of arc BC is 23 degrees. And the measure of angle BCA is 31 degrees. So BCA is 31 degrees. They want us to find the measure of arc AD. So that's arc AD is what we're looking for. So what will help is the fact that this is an inscribed angle at 31 degrees. So the intercepted arc out here would be twice the inscribed angle measure. So that would be 62, because that's two times 31. So then to find the arc AD that we're looking for, we just have to say 360 minus these three that we know already out here. So 360 minus 23 minus 62 minus 117. Let's see what that would be. is 158. So that's the measure of arc AD. Number three says find angle DCB. So DCB is this angle right there. The rule with this type of circle and the like intersecting chords inside of it is that you take these two arcs that are intercepted. So arc AE plus arc D, B, and you add them together and divide by 2 to get this angle D, C, B that we're looking for. Okay, so 41 plus 163 all divided by 2 would be 204 divided by 2, which would be 102 degrees. Alright, so that's it for number 3. Maybe do that a little better. Okay, so number four says find x. The rule with the circumscribed angle, the one sitting outside the circle, is that you take the big intercepted arc, which is 78, minus the little intercepted arc, which is 40. So big intercepted minus the little intercepted divided by 2 is kind of the rule to remember. So 78 minus 40 and then divide that by 2. So 78 minus 40 would give us 38 and then divide that by 2 and we get would that be 17 is that 17.5? No. Just drew a blank. 19. So x is 19 degrees. Alright and last but not least number 5. This one has an inscribed quadrilateral, and we're asked to find x, y, and z. So, I'm going to erase this part over here so we have plenty of space. Let's see. 88, 60, and 70 are on the outside of the circle. So, what we could do first is 360 minus 60 minus 70 minus 88, and that will help us get z which would be what's left of the outside of the circle. 
So 360 minus 60 minus 70 minus 88 is 142 degrees. So that's a quick way to get Z. Then let's see what else we got. We have angle Y, which is like angle A, B, C, opens up to the, ooh, that's really big, hold on opens up to the arc ADC and so if we add those together the 70 plus the 88 that would give us 158 degrees and then we divide that by 2 to get the angle that is inscribed so 158 divided by 2 would be 79 all right so that's Y and then X opens up to so angle X is right there. It's like angle DBA or DAB, sorry. And that opens up to the arc BCD, which is 88 plus 60. So if we add 88 and 60, we get 148. But then that angle that's inscribed, which is X, is 148 divided by 2, which would be 74. All right. So that's it for your breakfast.